it is time to configure our PCs. Now remember, we said that the last available, P, uh, available IP address was for the default gateway. Then we used 253 for the switch, and the switch's gateway is 254. But for the end devices, we start by one. And that's just my own little LAS standard that I like to do. All right, so we're going to go to PC0. We click on it and we go to the desktop tab and then under IP configuration and I hope you can see that let me put it this way all right whoa what happened there magic trick here we go we're going to do 192.168.1.1 tab tab default mask for a class C and then the gateway because we have a router 192.168.1.254 now we are going to have a DNS server that will be the last device we configure so we're going to put an IP address for DNS server so our DNS server is going to be 192.168.1.3 that's going to be our DNS server and I'm going to configure some stuff there and you'll see just a little basic stuff so you can see how that works. And then we close that. Because the packet tracer automatically, once you put in information, it memorizes it. So go into the second PC, desktop tab, IP configuration, 192.168.1.2. Tap, oops, tab, tab default gateway which is the same thing 1.254 and then the same DNS server which is 3 192 can you see that I'm sorry let me put this this way 192.168.1.3 so we got the 1.1 for the first PC and a 1.3 a 1.254 is the gateway and a 1.3 for the DNS server the gateway is the same for both which is 1.254 so let's check for connectivity but we're going to do it a special way we're going to do it a special way so i'm going to move this whole thing right here i'm going to do a lasso and loop and i'm going to move it this way well no, you know what i'm going to leave it right here what i want to do is remember i told you about those special envelopes and how you can see the packet flow information i'm going to go to simulation mode and i'm going to select the simple PDU which is the closed envelope I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna click on PC0 and then I'm gonna click on PC1 if I can get my mouse over there there we go right so what's gonna happen you see look there's two envelopes there and what are they if you look if you expand this panel right here if you expand it, you can see it says ICMP and ARP. ICMP and ARP. So the first thing that happens will be an ARP and then the ICMP. So let's take a look at what actually happens when you have a switch, a router, and really what you're not going to go all the way to the router because you're in the same network, so it should just go right here. So but let's see what happens. So you press right here. Let me go over here where it says auto capture and play you click boom what's coming down ARP take a look at it ARP now you see it went to both places because it floods the network both ways but you see it X'd out right there and then the ARP comes back to the PC and now if you look here the ping is next and there we have a ping And it goes to the PC. So isn't that great? You can see the packet flow as it goes. And then the pin goes back, which is the reply. And then to delete it, you select here. And then delete. And then always remember, go back to real-time mode. And play with this. This is something, it's a pretty neat tool to look at flow. Now, why did it X out here? Because we weren't going outside our network. But a switch, as you will learn in the switching section, 
it floods out all the ARP floods out all the uh, the ports except the one that I learned the source MAC address on. So that's why I went up to the router, but the router says, "Hey, that's not me." And then that PC responded, "Hey, that's me. Here's my MAC address." And then the ping went back. So that's pretty cool. So we have connectivity now. If you really want to verify if that you know was, "Hey, I'm not used to seeing you know things like that. I'm used to seeing a ping." That's fine. You go to any PC. And you go to the command prompt and you ping 192.168.1.3. I mean, not three, I'm sorry, two. And then you get your four replies. And then you have it. And you've pinged across. We've created a very simple topology. All right, now the last thing that we're going to do is because we did put a DNS server address, we're actually going to add a server. And we'll do a little configuration in the server, make turn it into a web server, all right, and change some things so you can take a look at the configuration tab of the server. I'll see you in that one.